Howdy folks, Jeff here in the garage again. Uh, got a little bit of a project to do today. The wife's Jeep is um, got a little rust on the fenders, which is quite common for those old Jeeps. Uh, front fenders get rusted. So I'll be cutting out some metal and putting the patch today. So you can see here, uh, there's there's a lot of rust. It's, it's coming right through <laughs> it's gone so I'll be cutting out a section of this and uh, replacing it with some good steel but first I gotta get this uh, this big fender flare all right just spent on. a minute gathering up some supplies um, four big bottles of homebrew and a red solo cup that should uh, that should cover that part of the game and uh, Still haven't got that flare off, but we have beer, so now it's time. To well, get I got started. the fender flare off, and, I got and uh, as you can see, there's a, an exorbitant amount of rust. Uh, so I'm about to get the uh, grinding wheel out and cut the shit out of that. Find out what's underneath and see what I got to replace. Well, I got the. Uh, piece cut out of the fender as you can see there's a large piece and I made myself a paper template a piece of fuel that I need to cut out left it a little long because I'm known for making errors so we'll see how that works out okay well I just got finished making my uh, patch for the uh, for the fender um, I did a little bit of uh, hammering on the uh, on the edge here. Uh, that gives me a little bit more strength by putting a, an edge on that. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. A, um, it's going to be hidden by that uh, fender flare. And uh, B, I never really considered myself a body man. I'm just out here trying to patch it together to make it get through another year or two of uh, safety inspection. This patch is going to fit right in, right in here like this, and uh, we're getting to the point now where we're going to have to weld. And here's the man trying to get the seam sealer working on a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. Success? Success. Success! Working on a green Jeep. Must count for something. Well, we already had some green beer. Oh, good. Glad. Well, I got the uh, the patch panel welded in, and now it's just a matter of grinding. So you can see now that the uh, the welds are all ground down, and uh, it's actually not looking too bad. I got a little bit more work right there to do on the uh, on this corner, but uh, you know, a little skiff of body fill on this, and uh, it won't uh, it won't be bad at all. This is. This is pretty smooth, right across. I'm not shooting for uh, show quality or anything. Just, uh, just want to get rid of the rust. So a quick uh, skim of body fill over that, and uh, I'm gonna let that dry up, and I'll come back in a few hours and sand that. All right, after doing a little bit of sanding, and uh, I threw a quick coat of primer on it. Um, it's not completely done. Uh, I'm running out of time tonight, and going in for something. Well, I can't remember shortly. exactly where I left off the last video, but um, here's uh, here's what I got done. I finished the. Uh, this is basically t day two, and uh, this is where I got. I finished up. It's not the best bodywork in the world. There's still there's something funky going on right in there. A high spot. I don't really care. It'll it'll get through inspection, but I think uh, I think that lip turned out pretty good. Um, my paint's a little blotchy, but that's all right. Yeah, a few runs right there, but the fender flare will will cover up all that 
there's some paint on it and that's all that really matters to me I'll put the fender flare back in place and then I'll go in from the inside and throw some uh, undercoating under it well folks that's the repair it's not perfect uh, it's dry color now I get the joys of cleaning up the shop ah, what's this Water. Power steering fluid. No big deal. That's where the beetle peed. Beetles don't leak oil. They mark their territory. Thanks for watching.